I consider myself as the worst situation any speaker can have. This is the last lecture in the long afternoon and the last day of the course. This is the lecture which has been started in 2004 as a final lecture in the advanced course. This is a violation. You may wonder what I'm going to talk about. This is just for the reflection of what you learn and show you some of the example what can went wrong and to incorporate the principle of a good factor care in current practice. And you will see why education is so much important and why we are here as a faculty to move AO forward in a great spirit. I have to say, in many courses that I have been, the most dangerous surgeon is the one who came back from the AO course. Because now you know that you know everything and you want to start doing more surgery because we are surgeon. It's fun, right? And this is what Professor Apley, when I attend as a participant in the principal course in 1978, and he said, IF can be is fun or it can be infected fracture, inadequate fixation or implant failure. And this is broken books that I still keep in my office. You know that the first course started in 1960, and you see how enthusiastic is the participant. You see our, one of our founder, Professor Muller, instruct participant using cadaveric bone for intramedullary nail. You see here, Professor Alcover instructs Sir John Charlie, and he listened very carefully, which is not easy to see this kind of picture for Sir John Charlie. Now, Another part of the world, we don't know anything about AO until 1972, when one of our founder missionary, Professor Villeneger, flew out of Switzerland to different part of the world. And you can see the distance, 1.2 million kilometers that he has visited, more than 244 cities in 123 countries. What a remarkable traveling and dedication to the education. What happened? In spite of the world classific education, we believe we are one of the most leaders in education. There are still many complications. I'm sure you have seen it more or less in your practice, and sometimes we tell it it's elsewhere. It's hard to believe because I know that these complications come from surgeons. They said they have been to AO course, but still they do not apply according to the AO principle. If I may summarize why this thing happened, I would like to explain to you about the failure of understanding first, the stability. Many of you have seen this segmental femur fracture. Treat by this. You have seen in many courses. I'm proud to tell you that this comes from my hospital. And also very sad that it's happened in my hospital. Of course, I'm not the one who did this. <laughs> I'm the resident and the chief, not the chief, sorry, a senior surgeon, want to demonstrate me. What is this fixation with AO? Of course, I will never, leave, never believe him. You have seen to 16 hole broad DCP which means 64 hole is the bone and one broken rib because there's find no way in the bone. <laughs> this is the interpretation of absolute stability. Vascularity has been completely destroyed. This is again example from some other place. What does it mean relative stability? This is not, and every one of you know that this is instability right from the beginning. Again, Failure to understand what does it mean reduction. What is the difference here except two screw? No reduction. Right? Is this the case for you? Again, you look at the fracture here. Paul Roman seen this. And he said, what's the difference? Only the plate. Nothing has been reduced. So this is open internal fixation. Without reduction. My point is, these surgeons, they don't need evidence. 
they know that income is more important than outcome. As a surgeon, always ask yourself, must I, are there indications for surgery? May I? And can I? This is important. If in doubt, you have to ask or consult or even refer. One of the ethical, which is in my whole career, whatever you decide to do, you must treat the patients the same way as you want to be treated. Indication must be right, techniques must be right. Now, let's look at the soft tissue. Soft tissue, soft tissue, and soft tissue. This is again in my hospital, old time. This is a most dangerous instrument. The Lohman cam, you should throw it out from the OR. Again, this kind of exposure, you see here, open reduction, a lot of clamp, and here, much more. This is not a reduction. This is a steep tease. When you go to a go-go bar, you see every piece just been stripped out. And what is the result of failure of respect of the soft tissue? We don't want to see this. We show you as example. This is happened. If you don't do correctly, if you do not follow what you have learned, Finally, surgical technique. We are surgeons. We operate by our hand and the skill. If you look from here, the locking, heads, uh, the locking screw for interlock starts from anterior to the posterior. Where is the nail? It's not in the canal. It's at the ankle behind the tendon Achilles. How does this thing happen? This kind of fixation, the technique, even new technology, it doesn't mean that you have no complication. This is what you have to learn all of your life. And surgeons love to call these complications implant failure, right? In fact, it's a surgeon failure. I always say, implant does nothing. It's just stay in the box. You are the one who bring in the box and put in the patients. So, don't blame implant. You have to blame yourself. You have to learn from the mistake, and the surgeons must be big enough to admit the mistake, smart enough to profit from them, and strong enough to correct them. Finally, wise enough not to repeat them. I can forgive the first mistake, second maybe, but I will never forgive the third mistake, the same thing happened in my department. Remember, 4S. Stability, soft tissue, safety for the patient, and surgical technique. Why are you all here as a participant? You want to learn more because you are now in the advanced course. You know already the principle of AO, or AO philosophy. You want to have a better judgment to do right, but the first time, not the fourth operation. To make correct decision and judgment to improve your surgical technique as there are always new implants coming out and finally to become safe surgeon or even safer surgeon and what about all faculty who are here spend the time I'm here two weeks already because at least for me we own to our founding father and our mentor who teaches us all of this technique and we believe the proper education only will reduce the complication to all these poor patients. This is disaster. You may laugh, you may discuss, but if it happened to some of your family members, I believe you can't laugh at all. This is the chromosome of normal surgeon, and this is the chromosome of all of us sitting here as a faculty, as an AO surgeon. We have a spirit as a voluntary philosophy in this organization. And the real AO surgeons do it for love. And again, education is the debt we own to our future generations as we own to our founder and our mentor. Do not ask, what do I get? In this generation, this is always the question. But what can I give? 
What can I contribute? I consider myself fortunate to know them, to learn from them. Although I'm not living here in Switzerland, I stay as a fellow with Professor a l g o v e r I attend h i p course and stay in Bern for few, for some time. And I know Professor Villeneuve when he came to Thailand in 1977 to teach us about AO. And I want to emphasize, AO will not be at this stage without those pioneers who had devoted to build up this organization. 50 years has passed, as you know. We celebrated last year. This is what has been written. But the most important is to improve the care given to our patient will last forever. Not only the first 50 years. Unfortunately, all of our father has passed away. The last person is about three months ago. I strongly believe all of them now in heaven probably look at every AO course around the world. What's happened? And I believe as well that all of us here has to continue for what happened for the first 50 year and for the next 50 year. And again, for next 50 year, I definitely will not be here. And many of us will not be here. But I do hope many of you and many, many of you still alive and continue our work and mission of the AO. Farewell. Good luck to you all. Safety back home.